Get out, ball. Get out, ball. Fuck yes, dude. Home run, statesman. Out of control at all, especially when you're going against an outstanding pitcher, which Delta State has put on the mound here. A and that monster. one is monster, <laughs> foul ball, <laughs> but it is a monster. Well, it actually went into the bullpen, so it, it just was high. And too high. It, yeah, it was it's very too, high. It's, it's the too wind high. Knocked it down. Yeah, too high. So it's just a loud strike. So one on one. Hey, good, come set at the belt. And that one is hammered, and that one's That's not, not going to be too high. That's, That's going to be out of here, high. and it is gone. I mean, it is home run derby right now for Delta State. Absolutely pounded. Another long home run. This one from Dylan Coleman, and it's the fifth run of the game with one out here in the third. And that's that Delta State offense you talked about in game one. Strike one. Capo Bianco stands at third base, represents the winning run. One out in the bottom of the ninth, but the base is loaded. 0-1 count to Coleman. Here's the pitch. That ball is hit out into left. It's down for a base hit. Delta State's going to win it. You were growing up, you always dreamed of hitting a walk-off. That's what you did in the yard. Bottom of the ninth, bases loaded, walk-off. And getting to hit one 
has got to be pretty incredible. I never hit a walk-off in my youth baseball career. A lot of great players never get the opportunity to do that. How about two in one week? Let's go to Delta State. Dylan Coleman, two walk-off hits in one week. One happened in the midweek. The other one gave them a series win over West Florida where he hit a walk-off two-run home run in the 11th inning to give them a win. Not one, but two walk-off hits in one week. Dylan Coleman, maybe my neighbor from Madison, uh, transfer in from uh, Hines. So uh, awesome, awesome week, and uh, shout-out Delta State for the winner. Video on the Good. Three seventy three, fifty seven hits, leads their team uh, with twelve home runs, and also leads their team with forty three RBIs. So this will be uh, fastball against a really good hitter for them because David absolutely runs it up there. Uh, what you got a sophomore coming in to face one of the best hitters in the conference? Be an interesting situation right here. Coleman is 0 for 2. A ground out to the pitcher and a ground out to the first baseman. Mm. Hits this one well, and they'll be chasing that one for a while. It's in the trees over the left field wall as Coleman goes deep with that one. Yeah, that was no doubt or way out of the ballpark. is 1-0. This one hit high and deep to left. You can forget about it. Dylan Coleman, a grand slam in an elimination game in the Gulf South Conference Tournament. His first of the week, and it comes at the biggest time possible. Four RBIs. <laughs> Mammoth coaching. Oh! Go ball, go ball, go ball. Go ball.
at the Bowling Hall of the Dillon Bowling at the 16th Hall of the Freedom and 2nd Hall of the GSB Bowling. Here's the first pitch to Dylan Coleman. Dylan Coleman hits a nuke to center field, and that ball is out of here, off the batter's eye. A solo shot for Dylan Coleman, and the Statesmen get a third run, an absolute no-doubter off the bat of Dylan Coleman. Coleman slaps in his 17th home run of the year, and the Statesman cut into the lead just a hair, 16-3.